Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the Luma Fay transition. If you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors. I drop editing and filmmaking tutorials every single Tuesday. If you guys wanna learn about filmmaking or editing, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. All right guys, let's get right into it. So now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm gonna show you the clips that we're gonna be working with today. So the first clip is this drone shot I got on top of this mountain. And then the next shot is gonna be another drone shot, but this shot is a lot more of a silhouette. We captured it at sunset. And then the next shot is literally gonna be just some birds flying in the sky. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing with those a little bit later. All right, so to do the Luma Fade transition, what you're gonna do is bring your second shot on top of your first shot. And right now you can see it just is a regular jump cut transition. There's no effects yet added to it. I'm gonna move this over a little bit, just like that. And now uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come over to your effects. You're gonna go down to your effects and you're gonna type in gradient. So let's just type that in really quick, gradient. And then you're gonna go down to your gradient wipe. You should see it right there. You're gonna drag that onto your top clip, just like so. And now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna drag this to the front of that top clip, right where it starts. And then you are going to come over to the left-hand side under transition completion. You're gonna hit the stopwatch and we're gonna go from um, uh, 0% to 100%. So let's just type in 100%, there we go. Then we're gonna drag this right till that first clip ends right there. And we're gonna go back down to 0%. After you do that, you should see that there are some keyframes made uh, just like that. And now you're gonna come down and we're gonna invert the gradient. So just click this little box, boom, just like that. And now if I show you, this is what it should look like. It's already finished, it's that easy, and it looks absolutely amazing. So if you notice, it brings in the darker colors first. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the birds. We're gonna add some birds to the shot. So we're gonna use the same gradient wipe effect. We're gonna grab the gradient wipe effect and put it onto the bird shot. And then we're gonna come over to the left-hand side to transition completion. We're not gonna hit the stopwatch this time and we're gonna type in 30%. Go down and hit invert gradient. And now you can see their birds on the clip. It's that easy, guys. Uh, it looks amazing. It's a great effect. You can throw your own spin on this. So now you can see that there's a little bit of white going on around, like a white edging going on around the birds. You could fix that just by messing with the colors and turning up the blacks, turning down the whites. You want to get them as dark as possible so they can stand out. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. You guys can also help support the channel by going down to the first link in the description below. Shout out to all the subscribers and I will see you guys next Tuesday. I'm out.